gold is the number one safe haven asset. Fantastic. And by the way, you go back to your Trends Journal about uh, a month ago, and that we, we gold was it. Gold was the cover. Going gold. Uh, this is this is going to be the year for gold. Gold could well break over three, four, five thousand dollars an ounce. Gold is a symbol. The higher gold goes, the worse the geopolitics and economics are. And it's as simple as that. Yeah. Gold Fully is agree. the number one safe haven asset, and people are going to be looking for it. Well, you know, one of my GCs, three Gs, Gerald Salenti's three Gs, guns gold in a getaway plan. According to Oxford Gold Group, gold experienced an average annual growth rate of 11.2% over the past 20 years. Many experts agree that gold will likely increase in value in 2024 and continue to experience long-term growth. Gerald Salente, publisher of the Trends Journal, underscores gold's symbolic role, stating that its rise reflects deteriorating geopolitics and economics. Referring to a Trends Journal from about a month ago, he expresses confidence in gold, while foreseeing gold above $5,000 per ounce this year. Bloomberg commodity strategist and other leading experts have predicted that gold prices could rise by 50% in 2024. According to analysts, gold is forecasted to reach $2,700 during the first half of 2024 and eventually hit $3,000 by the end of the year. Gerald predicts a significant surge in gold prices in 2023, attributing it to declining interest rates, a weakening dollar, and the golden years trend. We believe the main factors buoying gold in 2024 will be interest rate cuts by the U.S. Fed, a weaker U.S. dollar, and high levels of geopolitical tension, BMI, a Fitch Solutions research unit, said in a recent note. Gerald anticipates that the 2023 banking crisis is tied to the underestimated office building bust. He anticipates a rise in loan defaults, significantly impacting banks like Silicon Valley Bank and First Republic ultimately driving up gold prices. The commercial real estate sector is at risk of its biggest crash since 2008, which could slam U.S. banks with up to $160 billion in losses. He speculates the CBDC's limiting alternatives, but stays bullish on Bitcoin as the second choice after gold, followed by silver. Gold and silver prices are solidly up, with gold notching a three-week high in late-morning U.S. trading on Wednesday. A drop in the U.S. dollar index and a dip in U.S. Treasury yields are boosting the precious metals markets. Now, we present the clips of Gerald Salenti's insights from his recent interview with Soar Financially. Before we continue to delve into this discussion, please subscribe to our channel and activate the bell icon for timely updates. One of the top trends is gold in years. This is going to be the year that gold takes off. I mentioned again about interest rates. Very simple. The lower, interest, the lower interest rates go, the deeper the dollar falls. This is the beginning of the death of the dollar. The deeper the dollar falls, the higher gold prices go up. Now we have a lot of geopolitical unrest. And one of our other top trends is bankster bust. The banks are going to go bust this year because no one's talking about the office building bust. That was one of our top trends for 2023. Your office occupancy rate in the United States, according to Castle Systems, that's with a K, is about 50%. Your office vacancy rate, vacancy rate, mean nobody in them, only around 20%. How about all the businesses that depend on, are oh, you talking about Canada? Calgary, it's like 30%. How about all the businesses that depended on commuters? Now what's going to happen? They're going to start defaulting on these loans. Trillions of dollars are coming up too in the office building, commercial office buildings. They're not going to be able to pay them. The small and medium-sized banks Oh, Silicon Valley Bank, First Republic. Oh, the other, forget that, man. This is nothing. You haven't seen anything yet. And again, that's going to drive up gold prices a lot. When you're looking at the price of gold going up, it's a symptom of how bad everything else is going down. By the way, my first buy of gold was back in the late 1970s at $183.67 an ounce. That's how I became a trend forecaster. The Iran conflict was going on. And I started playing the futures markets. Didn't know what I was doing. I was a young guy. I played gold and oil prices. I said, are going to go up. And I turned a $5,000 bet into almost three quarters of a million dollars back then. And that's why I became a political atheist. I look at things the way they are, not the way I want them to be. So going back to why they're not talking about it, they're not talking about it because gold is a symbol of how bad things are. 
It's the number one safe haven asset in the world. Now, if you didn't have Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, gold prices would be a lot higher. But again, we've been bullish on Bitcoin since, you know, the last five years. We've been writing about it, six years. And it's the younger people's choice. And then you have countries like Argentina, where you have inflation rate at 160%. People are going into cryptos. They can't buy gold. They can't afford it, and they're not doing it. They're buying a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But there's going to come a time when the central bank digital currencies become a real thing. When that happens, they're going to outlaw everything. But until that happens, we're still bullish on Bitcoin. Well, gold number one, Bitcoin number two, and silver number three. Gerald Salenti highlights the Middle East meltdown and the unusual quietness about gold prices despite its status as a safe haven asset. This is particularly noteworthy as central banks recorded unprecedented gold purchases in 2023. Gold price trends generally have been bullish in the long term, but the last couple of years have been more or less consolidation. That being said, with so many negative factors simultaneously, it's very difficult to imagine that gold won't continue to strengthen over the next decade. During the first three quarters of this year, central banks added 800 tons of gold, an amount that far exceeds their full year in the previous decade, apart from the exceptional 2022. Let's get back to the interview. Gold is a symbol. The higher gold goes, the worse the geopolitics and economics are. I and mean, it's as simple as that. Gold well, is the number one safe haven asset, and people are going to be looking for it. You know, one of my GCs, 3Gs, Gerald Salenti's 3Gs, guns, gold, and a getaway plan. That was one of our top trends for 2023, Middle East meltdown. Now keep going with it. Hey, you see uh, gold prices? Oh, safe haven asset, huh? Oh, you see all the all of the, the, the central banks buying up gold in 2023? Oh, only at record levels. But let's not talk about it. We will keep it out of the news. We won't talk about gold. It's only, you know, the crazy people. So th this is our, with that, this is what I'm concerned about the most. And then there's a thing in Israel called the Samson option. If we lose, we go nuke. And they're going to lose. You don't have to be really smart to think about this. How many people are there in the world? Uh, eight billion. Of that eight billion, how many of them are Arabs? About two billion. And how many of them are Jews? A little under 16 million. Wait a minute. Two billion against 16 million? What are you kidding me? <laughs> so Israel's going to keep ramping this up. And the United States government is totally, 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 totally in support of it. Just as the United States government has killed eh, million something people in Iraq, several hundred thousand in Afghanistan. I grew up during the Vietnam War. They only killed three and a half million Vietnamese. You're maniacs in charge. That's my greatest concern. According to a recent survey by the World Gold Council, 24% of all central banks intend to increase their gold reserves in the next 12 months as they increasingly grow pessimistic about the U.S. dollar as a reserve asset. Will gold continue to assert its resilience and how the banking sector impact the trajectory of precious metals? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. If you find this video informative, don't forget to support our channel and turn on notifications to stay informed about our latest videos. See you in the next video.